Welcome, everyone. This has been a wonderful week. We started last Friday with the Dharma talk with Chungan Sunim. He's still here, fortunately, for still a couple of more days. And um, wow, what a wonderful experience it's been to have him here. And I'm so grateful, as I know those of us who've participated so far are, and I know that the rest of us who are here for the first time will also enjoy and hopefully have some questions answered tonight. So this talk tonight is going to be about the 10 ox herding pictures. The 10 ox herding pictures, from my understanding, are like a road map or a trail map. So I'm a hiker, you know, backpacker, and you don't go off into the woods without a map. Because when you get lost and you want to go, oh, and you look for a landmark and you go, okay, is that Spring Mountain or Vulture Peak over there? <laughs> Which one is it? What do I do? Go down the low path or the high path? So all those questions arise. This 10 ox herding pictures are really not to be looked at as stages of progress on the path, but they're really signposts. They aren't the path itself. Each one of us is unique. Each one of us has a different way of taking our own path. So these signposts are unique for each one of us. And there are many different subplots, if you will, along the way that uh, each one of us has to navigate or work through or find an answer to. But I discovered this at a time in my practice a few years ago when I really felt kind of lost in the sense of not knowing whether I was coming or going. And these pictures really helped me to understand, at least for that moment, where I was. You know, in, in particular, I got to uh, finding the tracks. Finding the tracks for me is like recognizing that there's more going on here than meets the eye, that what I find dissatisfactory about my life, why it's not working, the big questions, you know, what am I doing here? Why am I here? What's this about? You know, we really have to ask, honestly, the big questions to set our foot on the path, if you will, on the spiritual path, which is nothing other than discovering our own nature. So there's really not any place to go. <laughs> there's no place to end up because we already have it all. Nonetheless, here's the paradox. We're on this path. I'm sure Sunim will clarify. But for me, that moment of seeing the hoof prints, I knew I was taking a step in a direction that I couldn't turn back from. It was going to be my life from that point on, no matter what. There was something there, and I had to discover what it was. So as we go through these tonight, I think you'll find Hopefully, you know, you, you relate to some aspect of this in your own personal experience and your journey. I really want to hear what Sunim has to say, so I'd like to turn it over to him and not spend so much time talking about what my experience is. So with that, please, thank you. <laughs> 